Hello, this is the Progressive Cynic, and in this video I'll be talking about Crocodile and how American drug policy could open up our shores to this terrible drug. If you haven't heard of Crocodile, you're lucky. It's a Russian drug which is pretty much their equivalent to meth. It's very easy to make, it's very dangerous, and it causes all sorts of horrible, horrible consequences on the human body. Crocodile is a derivative of codeine, which is taken from uh, over-the-counter cough syrup in Russia, and uh, combined with um, a bunch of different other caustic chemicals like camphor fluid, um, uh, gasoline, red phosphorus, and a bunch of things you don't want in your body. Once all these things are combined together, it creates a very impure version of desomorphine, which is a morphine derivative that is about 10 times stronger than pure morphine. Um, this means that it's very powerful and very addictive to the human body. Um, unfortunately, the chemicals which are added to the desomorphine, which are then the impurities in the final drug, um, are very damaging to human skin. And it leads to necrotizing fasciitis whenever you inject them into the human body. Basically, people inject themselves with these caustic chemicals, it rots their skin and leaves black scaly patches. Eventually, the skin just falls off and amputation is needed for death results. Um, fortunately for the United States, this drug has had almost no presence within our uh, borders and it has been largely relegated to Russia. Unfortunately, it looks like the drug may be coming to the United States. Uh, recently, we've seen several reported cases of this drug in Arizona and Missouri, and we have unconfirmed cases in Illinois, Ohio, and a few other states. Um, it's, it's not an epidemic yet, don't get me wrong, but it is foreshadowing of a very dangerous threat to the American population. Look, people are going to get high. It's, it's basically part of the human condition. People want an escape from reality, and whether it's some primitive um, population eating roots in our history like 10,000 years ago, or it's someone buying a, a alcohol or a joint in, in uh, modern day, some, someone is going to find some way to escape reality. It's, it's pretty much unavoidable. Unfortunately, our drug policy does not reflect this inevitability and has instead created a situation where people are forced into the illicit markets in order to get high. I am not arguing that all drugs should be legalized. Obviously, crocodile should not be legal. But drugs like meth or crocodile are only, they only take over in the market when people don't have access to less dangerous alternatives. Uh, for example, uh, if Russia wanted to completely short circuit the um, the crocodile at addiction, they could do a Uruguay where they start selling drugs um, in, in their pure form just through the government to addicts in order to uh, shut down the criminal aspect of the addiction. Um, they could sell pure desomorphine and make sure that it was uh, administered properly without impurities and it would it would have you'd still have addicts but the addicts would not have their skin rotting off because of impurities in their drugs um, this situation translates to the United States in a slightly different manner we don't have this addiction yet it's not on our shores but it threatens to be um, it's very cheap to make it's very easy to make and it's portable this means that well, there's a market for cheap, easy to make drugs, and someone's going to fill it. Um, look, we can short circuit these really horrible super drugs by having lesser drugs available at far less risk and far less price. Um, like California, for example. Uh, legalize pot, legalize, or alcohol is legal everywhere. Um, and you have a situation where there's a bit of a release valve. Addicts are not forced into illicit markets, so they're less likely to try these horrible drugs when there are legal, cheap alternatives. Uh, it's simple supply and demand. If you, uh, if you force 
these lesser drugs out of the market into the black market, you're going to create a situation where ease of, ease of creation of the drug uh, creates a downward, um, a downward force on price. Like, it's not easy to create marijuana comparably to, uh, to meth. Uh, it's far cheaper just to buy the pseudoephedrine and the, the different chemicals in meth than it is to grow a marijuana plant. This means that people will just mix up large quantities of meth and then start selling it far faster than pot can be, uh, can be grown. And the prices reflect that. Um, look, we need to legalize pot and we need to take a treatment uh, we need to look at drug addiction in terms of treatment rather than punishment. If we want to avoid these horrible drugs from coming to our shores, we need to create a downward uh, push on price for, uh, for lesser drugs like um, marijuana or mushrooms or some of those uh, drugs which they'll get people high but they won't break down their bodies. Um, by doing that, we can entice addicts to stay within those less dangerous drugs rather than resorting to the um, really horrible ones. It's not a perfect fix, but it will certainly prevent us from having to deal with hundreds or thousands of people who have their skin rotting off due to the abuse of a drug which really is avoidable. Nobody nobody wants to have their skin rot off and if someone is given a choice between a drug which is going to get them high and a drug which is going to get them high and also lead to them having multiple amputations they're just going to choose to get high rather than to have to go through the amputations it it's a disgusting situation and we, we want to avoid it in all ways possible um thank you this has been the progressive cynic please follow my blog the progressivecynic.com and my YouTube channel.